the whoosh bottle. That's what we call it anyway. It's a classic demonstration, the combustion of uh, an alcohol vapor in a large, in this case, a five gallon uh, plastic carboy here. What, do we do? what are we demonstrating? First of all, it's gonna be a, a fun demonstration. Take my, you, know, you can take my word on that. But it's very important that we not just do things for fun, that, but we teach when we're doing them. So what are some of the things that we teach when we're doing the wish bottle? Well, we can talk simply about the fire triangle. You know, the fact that you have to have fuel, you have to have oxygen, you have to have heat or a spark or something else. What I'm gonna do is first of all, add about 25 milliliters of absolute reagent isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to sit here and I am going to twirl and swirl and mix. What I want to do is get that alcohol liquid, about 25 milliliters, to coat the entire surface of this large five gallon carboy. And the reason for that is to increase the surface area because I'm not going to be igniting the liquid. I don't want to ignite the liquid. I want to ignite the vapor. And so what I have to do, and sometimes you'll see people do this for a show and they'll play some music and they'll dance and as they're dancing, it's mixing. So it actually works out really well, but I neither sing nor dance. So we're just gonna sit here and twirl and swirl. Uh, and we're gonna coat that entire surface with the isopropyl alcohol liquid so that it all evaporates. And the goal, of course, is to fill Fill this large container with vapor, isopropyl alcohol vapor. And so I don't see any more visible liquid in there, but that doesn't mean I want to do the reaction yet. It's really quite important that you not have any remaining liquid from a safety standpoint. So we want to talk about where to use this in your curriculum. We want, really want to teach you the safety aspects as well. What I'm going to do is invert that over this cup. And in a minute, you're going to see that some of the alcohol is dripping out of there. If you can see that liquid coming out, I really want to try to get as much of that as I possibly can. And it's kind of going down the sides of it. Now, remember, I added about 25 milliliters, so I don't have very much coming off. Hopefully, I've converted it, most of it, to the vapor phase through evaporation. But there's certainly some liquid that's going to come off there. And so we're just going to let that go for a little bit to be sure that we have mostly vapor in that bottle and not very much liquid. Very important if you're doing this demonstration to do it behind a safety shield. We highly recommend this. It increases the safety. Also, if you're doing this in your classroom, everybody in the audience should be wearing goggles or safety glasses as well. We highly recommend that. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right behind the safety shield. I'm gonna cap it there for just a moment so that hopefully that vapor will stay. Now this is the most important part of this demonstration. It's what you don't do. You make sure you don't have any liquid alcohol near the surface there. So I'm gonna take that away. Very important, your source of alcohol far away from the demonstration as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light a splint and then I'm gonna uh, ignite the vapor in there. And so I'm gonna light my splint, then it will bring the lights down. Actually, first I'm gonna take this off for just a moment here and I'm gonna go ahead and light my splint so I can see what I'm doing. And then if you can take the lights down, take the lights down and on the count of three, and I'm going to stand on the right side of the shield as well. One, two, three. <laughs> Very good. A great, fun demonstration, the combustion of isopropyl alcohol vapor. It's a great demonstration to do. Did you hear that whoosh sound as it all just came out of the jug there? And then you got a little bit of afterburning. You saw that yellow flame kind of go back down and almost a ring of fire in there. It'll look great, I think, on slow motion. So 
Anyway, the combustion of isopropyl alcohol, a terrific demonstration, a combustion reaction. There are a lot of things you can do with it. What's going to be left in there? It's water. You could pour that water out. You could find out how much water you produced in the combustion of an alcohol. Um, what, what are you also demonstrating here? You know, a lot of students don't understand that it's the vapor that's flammable. It wasn't the liquid. You know, we don't see the vapor, so we don't think there's anything there. And we know that a lot of accidents occur. And actually, the, the most horrific explosions are when it is vapor that ignites uh, and so on. A lot of things to do, very important to understand the safety and to pay attention to the safety rules at every step of the way when you're doing that demonstration.